Matsugani family captain Kyohei Hamura is connected to the mole. Confirming his suspicions, Yagami's progress is impeded. The entire city is under Hamura's surveillance, and it went deeper than he knew. Alone and out of options, Yagami receives a little support. But the night is still young. Don't show your face again until you've got him. Search the whole fucking city if you have to. What, the kid in the mask? Find him too, dumbass! Ah! Yo, talk. <laughs> Long time no see, Yagami. Higashi? Is that you? <laughs> Said he's here on Captain's orders. They've been looking for you. I know. Sounds like he really doesn't want our killer caught. You're not giving up, are you? With how much it's pissing Hammer off? I wouldn't dream of it. Keep your nose out of this, asshole. It's your fault I'm here cleaning this shit up. What? Something wrong? I thought you were all about being Hammer's lapdog. I'm willing to do a few tricks for the treats he hands out. Hell, he's a better leader than you were, Kaito Anaki. You've got no business calling me that now. I suppose not. Then take your thugs and go, Higashi. Fine, we can call it here for today. Looks like if I want to fight you, I'll have to be ready to kill you. Looking forward to it. We're done here. Come on. Remember what I told you. Yagami here is a ticking time bomb. Get rid of him if you want to survive. Damn, Higashi. You're finally looking like a real Yakuza these days. Whatever, asshole. Top. Think you can tail Higashi real quick? Huh? If I'm being honest, I've been worried about him ever since I left the clan. Yeah, he's changed a lot. I couldn't tell you what he's been through, but it's pretty clear he's had it rough. It's like you said, he's changed a lot. All right, I'm on it. Here, let me pay you. It's the least I can do. <laughs> you really think I want your money? Besides, how else am I gonna get more dirt on Hamra? I have a read on Higashi. Just turn right down Nakamichi Street. Alone. Right on Nakamichi. Got it. Thanks again.
What is it? Got it. I'll be right there. Help me out here! The fuck are you? Oh, shit. Get lost, pal. He's out of our league, man. Let's move. Thank you so much! Anytime. Higashi went into an arcade on Park Boulevard. Ring any bells? An arcade? Yeah. Looks like it's called Charles. Oh, that. I used to manage the place. Guess the family has him running it now. A Yakuza arcade? Well, they have a casino in the back or something? 
Nah, we just used it for deals every so often. It's pretty much a regular shop. You know, for kids. Okay. I'll see what I can find. Hey, just a sec. What? It's, uh, pretty tight in there. You're gonna need to be covert if you don't want him spotting you. Right. I'll change real quick. Got it. Coin. Pipe down, brat. Can't you see I'm busy here? Yeah, but... I said beat it, kid. <laughs> Sorry about that, kid. Here, go have some fun. Whoa, really? Thanks, mister. Gashi san, this guy's crazy! Yagami? You followed me, asshole? Wait, what the hell are you wearing? Let's not worry about that now. So, what do you want? Kaito san's worried about you, you know? Oh, yeah? As far as he can tell, you're nothing like you were in the old days. Why the fuck would I be? And who the fuck cares? This is how the Yakuza roll. Right. Except it's all a big act, isn't it? <laughs> huh? I saw you give that kid some cash, you big softy. Deep down, you're the same old Higashi. The one who used to look up to Kaito-san. You sure about that asshole? Look, I don't want to fight you. I can turn and walk away if you want. <laughs> Coward. Same old story. How long has it been since we've seen each other? A year now? It was the day Kaito-san got expelled. You were... pretty upset by it. A thief going after Yakuza Cash. Couldn't imagine anyone's that dumb. But they did it. All under Kaito-san's watch. The family lost 100 mil that day. But there was nothing Kaito-san could do with a gun shoved in his face. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? Making sure there's some accountability around here, boss. As if that'll suddenly make things right. 
How exactly does this get our money back? Well, it won't, but it's a start. It's important to set an example. A hundred mil, huh? Sounds like that's one expensive finger. Talk. Why are you here? We were outside having a chat. The hell do you think you're doing? That pinky's big money. Thought I'd get a good long look before it's gone forever. Shut it! Huh. <laughs> Pretty pathetic, isn't it? But Hamura, the damage was a hundred million. You really think one pinky can cover that? Huh. There's gonna be a whole lot more coming his way. More than this? Uh... What more can you do? Good question. Kaido-san. You're out. For good. There's no way. Kaito Anaki is... <sighs> Boss... You're... Okay with this? Begging him won't get you out of this. You see, boss? It's gotta be done. You know it's only fair. You should know. I already informed the main family of this. Did you know? You were awfully efficient about that. Thank you very much. <sighs> Matsugane-san, you really gonna go through with this? It's done, Tak. Kaito's out. From this point forward? Are you sure about that? I'm certain. Good news, Kaito-san. You get to keep your pinky. Huh? You don't get to decide that! Yakuza cut off their fingers to show accountability for the things they do. A civilian, like Kaito-san, has no reason to do that. The fuck do you think you are? With all due respect, your own boss just said Kaito's not Yakuza anymore. Captain. <sighs> Back off. I'll do what I've gotta. Kaito-san. This is how it's gonna have to be. I'm not afraid. I'm Yakuza, dammit! Wait! Kaito! You're not Matsugani family or Yakuza anymore. You hear? I don't need your pinky, so just go. Fucked up. The boss brought you in to save Kaito Anaki. But it was too late. He was gonna get expelled no matter what. Even so, you gave him the best defense a man could ask for. Yeah, and Hamura's had his eye on me ever since. You know, you're doing pretty well for yourself, Higashi. Looks like you're moving up the ranks. I heard this used to be Kaito-san's arcade. Hell do you know! Hamura practically controls the Matsugani family now. With Kaito Anaki gone, Matsugani-san's command has slowly slipped away. This would have never happened if he'd stayed. Couldn't you have done something? You just sat and watched while he took control. Easy for you to say. I couldn't have done shit. Maybe not. By the way, Whatever happened to the family's hundred mil? Huh. Did they ever get the money back? Or find the thief? <sighs> Fuck off. It's none of your business. True. Yo. How'd it go? Fine. I ended up going in that arcade. Talk to Higashi. He caught you, huh? Nah, I just wanted to have a chat. Anything come of it? First off, Matsugane-san's completely lost control of Hamura. Apparently, Higashi has no choice now but to follow his captain's orders. Fucked up. When we talked, though, it felt like I was talking to the same old Higashi. 
Didn't look same old to me. You know a year ago, when you got expelled from the family? Uh-huh. It was because someone stole a hundred mil from the safe, right? Yeah, what about it? What ended up happening with that? Did you ever hear anything? Apparently, Higashi got it all back. At least, according to Ayabe. Higashi did? But how? Not a clue. I would have had to fork up another 200 grand for more info. I didn't have the cash, so I dropped it. Haven't brought it up since. Sounds like Ayabe has a lot to tell us. It'll cost you. Bet you can find him a tender around now. Kaito-san, how long's it been since you saw Higashi? Today was the first time since getting the boot. Hamura would have been all over him if we kept in touch. I didn't want to weigh him down, you know? Gotcha. I wonder what Hamura will do next. He'll be back here soon enough. It's just a matter of time. Wouldn't even be surprised if he tried to off us. <laughs> you think we pissed him off that much? Well, he doesn't want us catching the mole, that's for sure. Other than that, I think he just hates our guts. Damn. Even though we're the reason he's a free man? Guess we just can't catch a break. You heading to tender? Whatever info I have is... I hope I have enough then. I'll figure something... Welcome back, Doc. So, rumor has it you've been serving drinks to a dirty cop? In my bar? I take offense to that. <laughs> Ayabe here yet? He said he's heading over. Before that, though, Doc, uh, I've got a little job I'd like you to handle, if you would. A job, huh? Only the best detective in Kamaroto can handle this case. Oh, yeah? Well, then how can I refuse? Ah, you're blushing. I mean it, though. Then clue me in. <laughs> Would if I could. I never actually asked. The client's a regular of mine, though, so you don't need to worry. Anyway, you'll need to head over to a place called Hill's Garden on Park Boulevard. Right now? Right now. And I'll let you know when Ayabe-san comes in. Come on, detective. It's not like you to turn down a paying job. Huh. You got me there. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 
Excuse me. Hmm? Ha <laughs> ha! 
We're doing this. Hello? It 
Sayabe. Masuda told me to give you a ring. You need something? Yeah. Info I hear you got. You got the cash? I'm done handing out freebies. Oh, and the price will depend on what you want to know. Well, it just so happens you already told Kaitos on the price. 200 grand. Hmm? You know how all that money got stolen from the Matsugane? I want to know what happened to it. And what? I said it'd be 200k? That's what he told me. In that case, let's make it 100. Price drops with age. Oh, does it? Look, I'm not pulling the numbers out of my ass. I got calculations. System. Anyway, I'll drop by your place tomorrow. Have the cash ready. Wake up and look behind you. <laughs> huh? God, next time just knock, would you? Those are the files on the Matsugane robbery investigation? Investigation? What have you been smoking? No Yakuza's gonna report a robbery on their office. I mean, they'd have cops swarming the place. Wait. The Matsugane incident was never a formal case. I rounded all of this up myself. You have cash? A hundred grand, just like you asked. Nice. Everything's so clear. And these are practically real case files. You want to know how long I spend on this stuff? Way more than I do on the streets, that's for sure. <laughs> Someone's proud of himself. <laughs> now then, this is the floor plan for the Matsugane family office. It's from a year ago when the break-in happened. They haven't remodeled since then, have they? <laughs> Doubt it. So, to avoid getting seen by the security camera, the thief snuck in behind a guy coming in. Once they were in the camera's blind spot, he pistol whipped the guy and knocked him out cold. At the time, Kaito was the only one watching over the office. That's why the thief went in at 3 p.m. Barely any guards to deal with. All he had to do was point his gun at Kaito and get him to open the safe. There was only one thief. Why didn't Kaito-san fight back? What would you do if a guy pointed a gun at your head and then shot the ceiling to prove his point? Even a guy like him would freeze up under that kind of pressure. You're really gonna chance playing hero? Once the safe was open, the thief smacked Kaito too. Knocked him out just like the last guy. And that's how the story ends. Sounds a little too well thought out. <laughs> this guy was a pro. And consider this. If he didn't know when the office would be empty, he'd never have been able to pull it off. Clearly, he had a contact on the inside. Maybe. But still. I don't understand why Kaito-san reacted like that. Normally, he'd have killed the guy. Or died trying. <laughs> thought you'd say that. Hmm? That was all just a warm-up. This next bit is what's worth the hundred grand. So, I said Kaito was alone in the office, right? Well, turns out someone else was there too. Huh? Higashi. He saw the whole thing go down. But Kaito's the guy who took the proverbial bullet. Bad. 
bad move, dumbass. Open the fucking safe. Hurry up or I'll kill you. Interesting. Well then, you better make it count. Otherwise, it's gonna be my turn. <laughs> Apparently the poor guy was polishing his boss's shoes off in the corner. By the time he figured out what was going on, he was fucked. Okay then, you got me. The money's yours. I'll just go get it. Gussie couldn't forget that face if he tried. It was seared into his memory. You could say it all worked out for the best, since no one got killed. You could also say Higashi abandoned his Oniki and let the thief get away. And that's one way for a Yakuza to lose a finger. Kaito never did tell anyone else that Higashi froze like a deer in the headlights. Instead, he took the fall for the missing hundred mil and got himself tossed out of the family. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? That sounds exactly like what Kaito-san would do. Right? But what happened next? How did Higashi get the money back? Couldn't have been easy. He chased the thief down and took it back. Thought that'd get Kaito back into the fold, which it obviously didn't. Thing is, he needed access to the police database to search for faces. I see it now. That's why you know what you do, huh? You think so? It's the only way you'd know about this case. They never filed a police report after all. <laughs> ding, ding, ding! Long story short, Higashi used the database and found his man. A homeless guy living on the streets of Kamurocho. Known around town as Red Nose. Here, just sent you a pic. That's what he looked like before his life went to shit. I don't think his nose is all that red. Not my name, don't ask me. Anyway, I think you know what came next. He tracked Red Nose down and took the money back. But Kaito-san's still out in the cold. Ain't that funny? Meanwhile, Higashi's shooting up the ranks. Guess he got on Hamura's good side. And Red Nose? Haven't heard a peep about him. And I'm keen to keep it that way. Higashi didn't kill him, did he? Beats me. Hmm. <laughs> well. How was it? Worth the hundred G's? A year ago, Higashi must have turned the city upside down looking for Red Nose. If a guy like him could pull that off, so can I. Hey, pal, how'd it go? Get me one of those sweet VR prizes? Piece of cake. Whoa, for real? I wasn't expecting you to actually win. Anyways, I asked around about your Red Nose fellow. Still don't know where he is, but I did find who might. Yeah? At least that's what they told me. Oh, and speak of the devil. You're the one looking for that homeless guy? Yeah? You find him? No, not yet. 
Try heading over to the children's park, then. Some volunteers are handing out free food. All the hungry homeless of Kamurocho will be there. Thanks for the tip. Eh, don't mention it. See ya. Yo, it's Kaito. Where are you? On my way to the children's park. Think I might run into the thief. You mean the guy who robbed us is still in town? Not sure. But even if he isn't, I might find a lead or two. According to Ayabe, the thief was a homeless guy by the name of Red Nose. You're saying a bum took our money? Looks like it. No clue if he's still alive, though. After Higashi got to him, that is. Right. Well, I'm in. See you at the children's park, yeah? Hey, sorry about this. Looks like they weren't handing out food after all. My bad. So we're doing this instead? Yep. Red Nose sends his regards! <laughs> <laughs> You guys are getting old for this. Why'd you attack me? We wanted to know who you are. Why would someone want to know about Red Nose now? So, you're a friend of his? Is he still alive? No. Hasn't been for a while now. When'd he die? About a year ago. Someone found him floating face up. In the sewer. Body was all shot up with bullet holes. Shot? Did you go to the police? No. Of course not. What are the cops gonna do for us? Dead bum in a ditch is just more paperwork for them. Either way, his body's long gone. But we still want to find out what happened to him. That's the best funeral we can give him now. Right. Don't have a clue who killed him, though. Or why. All we remember is that a year ago, some Tojo clan Yakuza was looking for him. Must be Higashi. And is that Yakuza the one who killed Red Nose? Not sure. Those types are kind of out of our league, you know? We thought if anyone would know something, it'd be you. That's why we... Sorry, but my buddy here's got more fight in him than some random Yakuza. Fighting's been the only constant thing in his life. <laughs> That's Kamurocho for you. You're late, Kaito-san. Is this the guy who was looking for Red Nose? Yep, that's him. Not a doubt in my mind. 
So, a year ago, Higashi took the money back from Red Nose and returned it to the Matsugane family. Around the same time, Red Nose turns up ice cold in the sewer. Who do you think killed him? I... I just can't believe it. Higashi's not a murderer. Where would he have even gotten a gun? There are ways. This is Gamurocho, remember? I'm gonna go talk to Higashi. You're coming too, right Kaito-san? Don't you want to know what happened? Okay, I'll come. Let's head to Charles then. Higashi-san! Yagami's here, and Kaito's with him! Wow. <laughs> Never thought I'd see you roll in here. Kaito-san. Only seemed fair after what you pulled. Look, we need to talk. <laughs> and about what, exactly? Higashi. Red Nose. Did you kill him last year? <laughs> Who? Don't play dumb. The guy who broke into the Matsugane family office. Look, we already know you got the money back from him. <clears throat> and not long after, Red Nose turned up dead in the sewers. As for the cause, it seems he'd been shot. Higashi-san! Motherfucker! How dare you! I need you to answer me. Did you kill Red Nose or not? Start talking, Higashi! I did it for you, man. If I could have just gotten the money... Maybe they wouldn't have kicked you out of the fucking family. I was ready to do whatever I needed to do. For Kaito, huh? If you really mean it, then drop the goddamn gun! Not a chance! So it's all on the table. You really gonna kill us, huh, Higashi? It's over. You don't have enough bullets in that damn gun. You can't kill us all. <laughs> Take him out! Thanks for that. Now go! Fuck you! God damn, that felt good. Come on! Yeah. This is what I pay you for, Kaito-san. Fuck yeah!
I didn't. I didn't kill him. What? I'm not the one who murdered Red Nose. Then who the hell was it? Red Nose must have had a contact in the Matsugane family. That's the only way he got away with it. And whoever that contact was gave him all sorts of info. When security was light. Where the safe was. Not to mention when there'd be the most money. There's no way you steal from the Yakuza without some help. So, is Red Nose's contact the one who killed him? To cover it all up? Probably. But who would have done something like that? Stealing their own family's money? It wasn't about the money. Huh? They wanted to rub you out of the picture, Kaito. That's why it happened when you were on guard duty. To rub me out? If that's it, then the contact must have been... Yeah. Captain Hamra. You were the only thing between him and total control of the family. With you gone, he could consolidate his power. At least that's how he saw it. And he wasn't wrong. Just look at it now. Yeah. Nobody can stand up to the captain anymore. With the power and money he's got, He's the only thing keeping us afloat. How exactly did Red Nose die? You know, don't you, Higashi? It was the day after the hundred mil went missing. After Kaito Anaki got expelled. I bought some info from a dirty cop. Led me right to the name Red Nose. I asked all around town, till eventually I ended up down in the sewers. But me and Red Nose, we weren't the only two there. You found Hamura, didn't you? They were making a deal. Hamura was gonna get 90 mil, and Red Nose would have walked away alive. And 10 million yen richer at that. Should have been all wrapped up, clean and easy. Who's there? Come out! Hamura... Is that him? It's Higashi, sir! Sorry to barge in on you like this. Higashi... What in the fuck are you doing here? Are you alone? I... Uh, I don't know if you realize, but that's the guy. That's Red Nose. He stole the hundred mil from our office. Sorry, Red Nose. This is nothing personal. <gasps> Captain? Hey, um, not really a good idea. Tell me, how'd you find out Red Nose was the thief? I... I... Well, I... What was I supposed to do? I told him everything. How I was in the office when the thief broke in and stole the money. How I bought police info from Ayabe and followed the trail to Red Nose. I kept talking, like my fucking life depended on it. Probably did, to be honest. Hmm. Real insightful. 
You did all that so you could clear your buddy Kaito's name, huh? Aren't you just the most loyal boy in town? Please, don't shoot. Whatever it is you want, I'm begging you, Captain. But, Captain, hold on. You sure? Huh, probably right. You want to stay alive. You show us some loyalty. Prove yourself once and for all. But how? How can I? Here's how. What? He wouldn't have had to die if you didn't show your sorry face. Not only that, he would have walked away ten million richer. Poor son of a bitch. His blood's on your hands, you know. No! <laughs> oh, wow. You scream like a fucking whore. Kind of a turn-on, to be honest. <laughs> what are you so upset for? You're finally a real Yakuza now. So you really didn't kill him, huh? No. But people know I was out looking for him. My prints are all over the gun, too. No matter how you look at it, I don't got an alibi. You said it yourself. I look like a real Yakuza now. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, what if we told Matsugane-san about this? Think he could put the squeeze on Hamura? Not a chance. The boss can't stop him anymore. Telling him would just make things worse. That's why Higashi kept it a secret. Tough as it sounds, it was the right move. Right. Hell of a thing. All right, I'm gonna go, Kaito-san. Mm hmm? This is between the two of you now. I'm sure you've got a lot to catch up on. Not sure what it is. I just can't stand that guy. Yeah? I mean, he's known you way longer than I have. And the boss has his back, even though he never swore up. I don't know. Something's just off about him. Hey. You ever hear what happened to his dad? Nope. What happened? Let me start from the beginning. From what I've heard, he was a stand-up guy. <laughs> Taught him kung fu and everything. He was a lawyer, too. Oh, yeah? Things changed when Tak was 15. His dad took a dead-to-rights murder case and actually managed to get an acquittal. One of the victim's relatives wasn't too happy about that, though. Huh? When Tak was younger, his parents were both stabbed to death. Doc was at a friend's house when it happened. He was there to avoid them. Pissed about the hours they were working. But maybe if he'd been home... Maybe he could have done something. Anything. Maybe his parents would still be alive. So this guy who killed the family, did they ever catch him? He hung himself at the scene of the crime. Tragic doesn't even begin to describe it. Tak ended up coming to Kamurocho right after that. Didn't want any help from his relatives, neither. So he lied about his age and snagged a job at Tender. Got it. So that's when he met you, huh? Yeah. 
And if you want the truth, I wasn't too big on the guy at first either. I was pretty green at the time too. But here comes this 15-year-old punk picking a fight with a Yakuza my size. The ball's on that one. Probably thought he stood a chance. <laughs> Probably. Until I broke his nose. But no matter how much he gets beaten down, Tok's not the kind of guy to give up. Every time I beat the crap out of him, he'd act like it was no big deal. Then one day, I couldn't tell you why, Matsugane-san took a shine to him. This weird father-son thing just kind of happened. Tok wouldn't listen to anyone else. For me and you, becoming Yakuza was our only choice. But for him, it was different. And if I had to guess, the boss could see that. And that's why I took him in. Tok didn't let him down, though. Ended up passing the bar exam not long after. I remember. Wasn't too pleased with it myself. <laughs> but that's all in the past. It's different now. There's a dead man walking. What do you and Matsugani-san still see in him? I could ask the same question about a guy who got kicked out for letting his safe get robbed. Kamurocho chews up guys like us. And when it spits you out, you're right back on the street. But me and him, we grew up here. We don't have another home. So even if it means butting heads with Captain Hamura, we're gonna see this shit through. Anaki. The captain's word is absolute. At least for now. But if he ever gave the order to off you, I might have to think twice about it. <laughs> I think I can live with that. <laughs> <laughs>